Hi, welcome to Active Bryant Systems. I'm Scott Bryant. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel today. Uh, I'm a personal trainer in London I'm a, and I'm a Master Czech Practitioner Qualified. Uh, I've been studying with the Institute since 2003 and somebody, uh, a YouTube person out there, has asked me to do a video on the Czech Totem Pole. So with the Czech system it's very, very in-depth and it can take you up to six to seven years or longer in which to learn it all. And for me, I started in 2003, that's when I got introduced to Paul and I went to see him on a, a medicine ball training seminar and it was absolutely phenomenal and I can still remember it clearly today. And when I started doing the studying, there was lots of reading involved, lots of practical involved and I was just fed up of just being a personal trainer only. Because I realised there was lots of things going on with clients that I couldn't help them with. And I knew that I'd still be doing this when I'm 70. So I knew that I needed to have updated knowledge and really in-depth knowledge in which to help my clients. Which come to me with a multitude of problems. I thought that when I first qualified as a trainer that it was just all going to be weight loss and, and fitness only. But it goes a lot, lot deeper than that as I've learned with the Institute, how the Institute has opened up my mind and made me realise that there's, there's spiritual elements, there's physical elements, there's mental, emotional elements, there's detoxifying elements to the body that all needs to be looked at in which to get great success with clients. So when I'm working with a client, they're looking at least a year's commitment and they're looking at least 10 grand to 25 grand in which to work with me for me to get them the result that they're looking for. The result can be quite fast with some clients depending on uh, how much they do what I'm asking them or coaching them to do. So that's enough of that. Let's talk about the Czech Totem Pole. So Paul took about 20 years to, to work this out. He's read a million pound in books. I've been in his library. I've worked with the guy personally. So I know what he's all about. He's a very, very funny guy. Great sense of humor. Obviously, wicked physique. That's why I studied with him and a very, very clever mind. Uh, so here you go. Here's the Czech Totem Pole. So first of all, you've got breathing. Then you've got mastication. Then you've got eyesight. Then you've got hearing. Then you've got atlas, C1. Then you've got the organs. Then you've got the intestinal tract. Then you've got liver, which is anger. Then you've got the colon. Then you've got the hip then you've got the pelvis, and then you've got the spine. Okay, and then here you've got uh, the spiritual element that is outside the body that many people don't believe in, and many people don't understand it in-depthly enough. So I've studied shamanism now for two years. I've probably read nearly 10 books on shamanism in which to get my knowledge up and I've studied with an elite shaman in Brixton and her name's Evelyn Brody. She's absolutely fantastic. I love her to bits and she's really helped me in which to progress my spiritual uh, involvement of growing. So this element here is just as important as the physical, mental, emotional element here. Okay, so with breathing and mastication is that if you've got an inverted breathing pattern, which I see this in every client because they're stressed, they're gluten and wheat intolerant, or they're eating foods that they're allergic to, or they may have fungus and parasite infection, which could be affecting the breathing, or they could have a postural issue, which could be affecting the breathing as well. This is top of the totem pole. There's another part of the totem pole, which is a spiritual element, which Paul was, uh, in the last couple of years, has added to that, and he says that this is the most important part of the body or well, the most important part of the whole of the, the system. And if you don't correct that, then uh, trying to correct all the other stuff is a waste of time. Okay, so many people are not open to the spiritual stuff. That's why it's not on this chart or this, uh, this painting that somebody has done for me, which is absolutely fantastic. So, uh, so mastication is next. So if you're not eating correctly the right foods and stuff like that, this will affect your energy levels, this will affect your thinking levels, this will affect the, the balance in the body. And if you've got a TMJ issue, which the tambicular joint, which is here, 
if you've got an issue with that, then this will affect the way that you're eating. This will give you lower back pain as well as upper cervical uh, pain as well as jaw pain. So very, very important to look at as well. Okay, so the next we've got is eyes. So as you see, I wear glasses. I've got astigmatism of the eye. My eye goes into the corner sometimes. So when this happens, this can affect the, uh, the lower back as well as affecting the, uh, the neck, as well as affecting the way that my gait is going. Because obviously the hierarchy, the eyes, obviously breathing is number one, mastication is number two, then the eyes is number three. Okay, so number four is ears. So if your hearing is not balanced, and I've seen this in clients where they've got a disbalance in hearing on one side, and this will affect the way that they're gay or the way that they're doing the exercises, or you'll find that predominantly they've got an ear hearing issue, it may be affecting the SI joint, it may be affecting the, the calf on the left side, and they've got an ear issue on the right side. So can you see how in-depth this system is? Okay, so then we're going on to the atlas. The atlas is C1 vertebrae where the skull sits on top of the atlas. And if there's an issue with the atlas, it will make one leg longer than the other. It will affect the SI joint. It will affect lots of, lots of uh, issues in the body as well as balance. And all your dura and all the... All the wiring of the whole body goes through the atlas. So if this atlas is slid off to one side, it'll affect the whole system. I have had clients where on level four, no level three, sorry, Paul teaches you how to how to correct the atlas, but you need to send people to a nuka chiropractor if you don't know how to do that. And assessing it, Paul's the only one, or the Czech Institute is the only one that, as far as I know, teaches how to assess the atlas and I know how to assess the atlas and either send them to a nuka or I can do a muscle energy technique in which to get the atlas to go in the correct position again. So remember the atlas is really important again if you don't correct the atlas and breathing then you can't correct anything else and this is what I found uh, conclusively with all clients. Okay so next we've got uh, that looks like liver, liver, which is the root of anger. And then you've got other organs like the gallbladder and stuff like that, which if you look into Chinese uh, medicine, you'll look at them organs and they look at the gut and they look at the qi flow through the organs. And this is something that you learn on level three. So when you're looking at the qi flow in the organs, on level three, HLC, it enables you to rebalance them organs by giving them certain exercises that help rebalance the system using qigong or tai chi which i do nearly every day okay so on top of that you've got uh, the uh, the colon which is here uh, so your poo goes up it goes along and goes down so if you've got fungus and parasites and problems in that area this will affect your thinking this will affect the muscles this will affect the way your body utilizes protein this will affect uh, pain in the lower back uh, and many, many other things. So the next, which a lot of people are interested in or what many people go for first, is that people will see me with spinal pain, you know, pain in their hands, pain in the neck, pain in the joints. And Paul says that this is the slave to all of these. So what he means by that is, is that if you don't fucking correct any of this, you got no hope of correcting that. Now, I've seen in uh, lower practitioners that haven't gone the whole study in, which many of them don't. They do level one, level two, and think that's enough when it isn't. Paul has set the system up so you go, you have to go all the way in which to learn the system. And I've seen in other practitioners, they can't get their clients out of pain because they don't understand the upper area of the body or they're not practicing this enough themselves. Okay, so the next bit is the spiritual element. So you've got the seven chakras, chakra one, chakra two, no, sorry, chakra one, chakra two, chakra three, chakra four, chakra five, chakra six, chakra seven, chakra eight. Okay, so 
I look at chakra eight because of in shamanism, if the eighth chakra is not strong enough, then you can't power up the other chakras. This is what I found personally with myself and personally with clients. Okay, and shamans, shaman practitioners, not a shaman. Uh, in the shaman world, you can call yourself a shaman if you've been born into it. But if you've learned it later in life, like I have, you just call yourself a shaman practitioner, otherwise you're insulting the shamans in Peru. Okay, that's the right I'm saying that to you. Then, so you've got the different zones where Paul has worked out the different zones work on different elements in the body. So if you've got a problem with the zone one, which a lot of people have a problem with, and zone one is money, uh, tribal association, family connection and grounding. So if you have a problem with money, which the guy that asked me to do this video might have, then then this will give you lower back pain, SI joint pain and stuff like that. I used to have lower back pain, it's totally disappeared because I'm abundant in my bank account and I'm abundant in my lifestyle because of what the check system has given me and taught me how to uh, charge and set my rates to a certain way in which to make sure there's abundance in the bank account so if the economy crashes or something happens that I can still survive and keep going. Okay so the next one you've got is chakra uh, two which is all about fluidity, hydration and balance in life. So if you're not going to bed on time, if you're not uh, reading good material, you've not got your life in balance how you want it, then this will affect these elements will affect that area of that spiritual element of the body. Okay, so the next one you've got is zone three, which is all about power and self-will. Which if you lots watch my last video on being a pussy, you'll understand that many people are fucking pussies out there because they won't do the study and they won't do the hard work and they won't push themselves enough or they won't employ a mentor in which to help them to get over them blockages and everybody 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 goes through blockages and you need you know good people around you to push you through them when you're having tough times and boy have I had tough times uh, before I studied the Czech stuff and while doing the Czech stuff and now in life in general because life is like that life is a game and life is a journey and we all get uh, challenges that you know that we need to try and overcome which life helps us to do in which for us to grow so when you're going through a period of no money or no clients or you're finding things hard when studying it's just a growth period so just push yourself through that so a little tip for you so the next one is zone four many many people have an issue with this no self-love uh, lack of self-worth lack of self-understanding uh, separated from a partner uh, a partner dying uh, I see this a lot in the shamanistic work that I do that people have a, a blockage in their chakra of the love chakra and this is normally uh, related to when they're getting married I think it's 21 upwards that they get this problem happening to them and uh, a shaman can help you get over this blockage and enable you to push through that area and obviously the zones are related to exercises in Paul's book in which for you to push chi energy in which to rebalance that area too okay so the next one is zone five which is communication so if you have an issue with communication you may have an upper cervical problem you may have pain in the neck all the time you may have uh, a communication issue with yourself and with others. I've seen this in many, many clients. It's always there, and I use the shamanistic techniques as well as zone exercises in which to push the client through these areas. And over time, with the zone exercises, you'll see the client change. They change the way that they think, they change the way that they're doing, and they change their habit patterns, as long as that's what they want to do. If they're in a self sabotageal mode, then it will be really hard to change that element. Okay, so the next thing is zone five, 
which is all about, you know, your higher self. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Zone six, sorry. Zone six. It's zone six. I got it wrong. It's, it looks like a five on there. Look, you see that? So zone six is all about your higher self, connecting to yourself, understanding yourself at a, at a spiritual level on a much deeper level. Okay, so then you've got seven and eight. But all I want to talk about really is eight. So with eight, you've got this energy field that comes outside of the body. And it's like the uh, the Ready Breck. If you ever watched the Ready Breck advert, they've got this uh, hot energy field coming out of the body, which is from eating Ready Breck. So you have this sort of like white energy field that comes outside the body. And this uh, is your relationship to the 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 earth and spirit world and alberto Velaldo, who i really really love i've got like seven of his books up there and with alberto Velaldo, he really talks about that if you've not fixed that area you cannot you cannot get over illness disease and problems so alberto Velaldo, a little bit of information about him he's an anthropologist of over 25 years uh, a medical doctor and he come out of the medical world because he found it really frustrating because he was cutting open people's brains and was seeing the the medical drugs and the people the things that people were taking they the, the body wasn't healing and they wasn't getting to where they want to go purely because the medical drugs didn't work and that this energy area was not balanced in people so Alberto Velaldo has worked with people just as they're dying. Alberto Velaldo has worked with people that have had real deep and mental emotional blockages, which can come from spirit world if you believe in that. Remember, if you don't believe in something, it normally doesn't work because you're closed down to that. But if you're open to something, then you can let your mind open up to it and then you can see more stuff. This is what I found personally myself. And... I had a healing with Paul himself in 2012 and that really changed me and that's why you can see Tibetan bowls and stuff like that behind me and I use them for my own healing uh, when I'm working on myself. So when you look at this, you may be finding it confusing, but you may when you look at this, if you bring this over to here, you'll see that this is more important than this. But everybody wants to do this and not this. So you have the shadow self. So sometimes the shadow self blocks you. What I found with clients is that they, they start to feel good. They start to feel healthy. Then they'll go and eat a load of shit. Or they'll miss a couple of sessions. Or they'll start making up excuses about money and stuff like that. And this is because of the shadow self and their ego as well is controlling them. So when you override the ego and you override the shadow self, you can do chanting, you can do affirmations, you can do all these different techniques in which to change this and uh, really improve yourself as a human being. Because, you know, as we grow up from the age seven onwards is when we're doing all our learning. So if your mum and dad are arguing, fighting, swearing, taking drugs, drinking alcohol, this is may this may be what you may want to do as you get older. Because you will mirror what your mum and dad does and you'll think it's correct because this is how you've been programmed. So you need to unprogram that like I've done. Like I come from a family of uh, my dad's a drinker. A, you know, a recreational drinker. My mum's a smoker. She likes to drink as well. Uh, both eat not as healthy food as I do, but both like to eat unhealthy food. So I had to reprogram myself in which to becoming fit, healthy, been working out forever, <laughs> been working out for a long, long time. And I went into the world of gangsterism from being a, uh, a doorman got into doing things that I shouldn't be doing to going into becoming a trainer and changing the way that I think about diet, lifestyle, exercise. I've always read Muscle and Fitness and Flex magazine and uh, health magazines 
but realizing through the institute that a lot of the stuff that they're putting in the magazines is all crap and realize that you know from the stuff that i learned through paul and through my own experience of 17 years of working with clients of learning what works and what doesn't work so with the check totem pole it all works but just doing the video today is not enough for you to understand it so on breathing i had to read you know three books about breathing a book on the tmj a book on eyesight uh, a book on hearing another book about the atlas another book about the intestinal area another book about anger and so many people are angry it's unbelievable the amount of people that are so angry and this could be causing all their pain uh, and then I had to read about the muscle skeletal system and study the muscle skeletal system as, you know, very in-depthly, studied about a myofascial release, studied about uh, the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system can be the link to everybody's pain because it's not, it doesn't have its own pump. So you've got to be cleansing your body in which to get the lymphatic system working or exercise in which to get the lymphatic system working. So really, really important stuff with the Czech Institute is that it's a long road, but a very, very enjoyable road. Paul makes the uh, studying fun, and you can study on audio, video, and manuals. And as you can see, uh, the videos ran the other way, but I'll get a manual just to show you. So this is Czech Practitioner Level 3 manual, and this is looking at muscle skeletal issues and looking at areas that there may be uh, blockages. So there you go, look, that's what you get for your free 4,000 quid. And it's teaching you everything you, uh, you need to know in which to really get people out of pain and really get their bodies changing. And... It helps you to map the whole system. We even map the teeth inside the mouth as well to find out what's going on with the client. And that's why if you go to a, a good check practitioner, you're looking at £180 an hour because of the in-depth that we study and the stuff that we're looking at that your normal person will not look at. So... Apart from Matt Walden and Tom Smith and people like that, uh, who are osteopaths, and uh, Jane Baker, who's a brilliant physio that I work with one to one with, as uh, as her as being my client, uh, having very very in depth knowledge is really really important in which to you know get clients out of pain and to really. Uh, get them to progress and to go forward so if you are thinking about embarking on the Czech program don't think it's going to be easy it's not easy it's hard and he pushes you to the level that if you want to get to my level you'll have outstanding knowledge and then you can work out which area that you want to go for in a in a deeper way so i chose shamanism i chose to go uh, deeper in the healing stuff but i still do all my check practitioner my golf biomechanics stuff with clients as well i'm now going to be doing uh another course with alberto Velaldo, and he's the guy that i was talking about that uh found this ape chakra and after he worked with the shamans in peru and around the world he found that they didn't have any word for illnesses or disease because there wasn't any. But then again, if you think about it logically, if you're living in the jungle, you've got no TVs, you've got no EMF pollution, you've got no pollution from the plains, and you've got no pollution from stagnant, smelly people. So if you live in the jungle, you are going to be much healthier. But the chances of you being killed by a tiger or a lion or a frog or a bat or... Something like that is quadrupled, isn't it? So, and obviously, probably 85% of the population, if they was in the jungle, 
for a year, they'll probably die within six months because they haven't got the fitness, they haven't got the strength, they haven't got the endurance and the knowledge in how to live in the jungle. So uh, that's another point that I wanted to make. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe at the bottom. Please like and spread the video if you think it was in depth and you enjoyed it enough to be uh, going into about the Czech totem pole and the Czech studying as a whole. And I would highly, highly recommend it. If you contact Czech Europe, uh, say that you looked at Scott Bryant's videos on helping and you'd like to become a Czech practitioner, you have to fill out, a, you have to do like a resume type thing before he accepts you because he only wants the best doing it. And you've got to think about the money as well. It's not cheap. I probably spent, from personal trainer and all the other qualifications that I've done, which I've done a lot, I've probably spent over 50k now. 50,000 pounds. So the average person that goes to university is spending 40k. I spent an extra 10k in which to make sure that my knowledge level is really good in which to get results for my clients, and I always do. The only time the, the client doesn't get the result with the check system or how I work clients out is when they're not putting their own energy into it and they're self-sabotaging. So some clients I would never ever do shamanistic work with because they're not open with to it. Some clients I will never give them such Tai Chi woo-woo exercises to do because they just don't get it. So you've got to look at your client base and what they're willing and not willing to do as well. Okay, so that's enough of me talking. Uh, the next video is going to be on the books I've read about shamanism and the books I recommend on shamanism. So thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. Thank you. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.